Hello everyone, this is Silver Praetorian. Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Um, this time we're starting off near the entrance to the world just so I can show you what these things do in action. Last time I believe I opened up the other one out by um, Crazy Peak and such, so we'll jump right Banjo. We'll hop in this one and it'll take us directly to there. I just thought I'd show you guys this little thing here before we actually got to work. See, the last time we went inside the witch's head there and opened up Gobi's Valley. So let's head there now. Let's see what needs to be done in the desert. Ah, uh, boy. Alright, so this time we can. Ooh, Mumbo took him. And now that I have my shiny, let's see about getting in there. There's quicksand and stuff in there, so let's find these boots and. on camera angle. Let's grab these boots here, and walk on in. Um, this is the second time I'm actually recording this. My first playthrough didn't go too well, really, so I thought I'd try again, and if there are any differences in, like, mumbo tokens and time and stuff, that's pretty much the reason why. <laughs> so, just thought I'd point that out. I've been playing between two different um, files, so there's that. Anyway, here we are in Gobi's Valley. That's ooh, Jinjo. Grab the Jinjo. And one more new move. We're gonna have to find bottles in this world. Who are you? Let's see, Trunker wants rain. Yes, but I'm shriveling up. What? K Kazooie, did you just? Oh my God, Kazooie. Wow, that was horrible. Huh, that ginger thing stayed up there for a while. And now that I've been sufficiently distracted, let's get this on the road. Alright, um... Right, this is the desert slash Egypt level, I suppose. Most of the level is right here in this area, with at least one jiggy being in each of these little objects here. And, uh, you're annoying. Eep. Really? You stupid jerk hand. But yeah, um, there's a lot of level around these objects here. First thing we're going to be visiting is this Sphinx. See what's inside here and keep going. Anyway, jump on up here. Oh yeah, a little fun fact. When I was playing through Freezy Peak, since this game doesn't actually have a save copy function, I had to play through... I'm pretty much playing through the game twice. But when I played through Freezy Peak the second time, I got revenge on those snowmen. Each and every one died. Wrong button. Okay. Now this guy's nose is stuffed up, so what we want to do here is try to clear it on a form. So that was weird. Normally you have to do that from both sides. Oh well, I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. Let's um, head on in here and see what the inside of the Sphinx is like. Alright, so let's see. Magic carpets. Jump on up to the magic carpet, Banjo. And, ooh, I hear Jinjo. We're gonna have to find him. Shoot the Sphinx head with eggs. Oh, that Jinjo is easy to find. Alright, so we have two Jinjos already. And another magic carpet to hop on to. And shoot eggs in this one. And, as you can see, my aim with eggs isn't too stellar, so luckily I have a lot of them to work with. Ooh, there's a Jiggy. Let's just get over to you. And, I Good job, Banjo. Or, Kazooie, rather. Alright, so let's jump, and we have our... First Jiggy, I think? Yep, first Jiggy of the world. Okay, jump on down here, kill him... You can actually just, um, attack him normally, but it's more efficient in my mind to just use a golden feather on him. Alright, so we're pretty much done in the Sphinx then. Not much in here, really. Seems bigger on the inside, though. Wonder why. Eh, anyway, let's head on out of here. We got a few more things to do in this world before we're done. Alright, let's see. First off, let's... Huh, that's new. I didn't realize that actually raised out of the ground. I thought that was always there. Well, since you guys just saw that, um, statue thing appear, let's go take care of that. Jump on up here, and let's fly through. 
and luckily I have a lot more feathers this time through, so it'll be a lot easier for me to do some of these challenges. Let's see, three. Summon all the hidden rings of the ancients to beat the witch. Oh, awesome! We'll be able to finish the game right now, guys! Let's just finish flying through these rings. And that's... looks like that's behind the Sphinx. So let's go over there. Huh, is it me or does that Sphinx look a little like Banjo's head? Hmm, I wonder if that could mean anything. I really don't know. Let's see, through another ring, and... I love how they just like hold still while the ring comes up. Okay, and up once more. And... It looks like that one's directly in front of the Sphinx, so let's head on over there. Yep, he is. That makes this easy. Oh, oh, bad day, bad day, bad day. And that is how we fail. By accidentally pressing Z when we're over quicksand. Which has sand eels in it. Yeah, I, I don't know either. Anyway, let's do this with 55% less fail. Yes, I'm actually able to measure the exact amount of fail I use. Let's see, only. T oh, you jerks. What can you give with it, though? Eh, you can give me a jiggy. I suppose that works. Uh, but you, you guys filled me with false hope only to take it away. You guys are jerks. Anyway, next on the agenda, there is a gigantic target on a Kazooie statue, so let's hit it. And that opens the door. Oh, cool, let's see what's inside the door here. Drop on down here, and... Oh, I didn't know you could actually climb on that. Okay, and inside the pyramid with ten seconds to spare. And what is in here? Oh, there are notes in here. Let's grab these notes. And one, two... Three... Mumbo -tokum. I'm with the Mumbo -tokum. Oh. Hello, my friend. I am Rube. I can I be of some help? Yeah, we're looking for treasure. Can you help us out? Good, I see some up there. It's yours if you can get it, yes? Up there? What's he talking about? Oh, I see it. Oh, man, we gotta get up there. I wonder how we do it, though. Well, Rube there looks kind of like a snake charmer, and that was kind of a snake buck in the middle. Maybe if we do this. Egg solve everything. Yep. Definitely snake. Alright, let's see, Rude. Ah, thousand thanks, my friend. This stuff will now help you with your quest. Oh, yeah, thank you, Rude. Oh, wow. Climb the snake, Banjo. That was. That's one strong snake to be able to support a bear the size of Banjo. And not even calling him fat, but just like a bear that's that. That's a strong snake. Anyway, let's keep moving. Now we want to... Weird camera angles. Uh, now we want... Is that a... Yes it is. Hello, bottles. What do you have to teach us? These are the running shoes. Beaky wears them on her scrawny feet to make her run really fast for a limited time. That sounds useful. Yeah, and fill up our energy bottles. Thanks a lot. See, well played, Banjo. You've now learned all the moves in the game. Yep, that is every move in this game. We now have every move in our arsenal to help defeat Gruntilda. And... Rabba's got a Jiggy Nurner. -ner. Oh, you jerk. Give us that Jiggy. <sighs> Too slow. We'll be back for that, Rabba. We will be back. As soon as we kill this beat. Um, I don't even know what that is exactly. Uh, let's... Oh. Here's the, um, first inclusion of beehives that are dangerous to go to. If you look around them, you'll see these bees. Once you destroy the beehive, the bees will chase you around in a limited area, making it more difficult to get the honeycomb pieces. Anyway, let's grab these speed shoes and see if we can beat grab it to a skull. And we can clear that jump. Nice jump, Kazooie. Yes. No, I've had that a thousand years. Yeah, thanks, Grabba. Con 
congratulate us. We know we're awesome. Now you do too. Alright, so that is our third Jiggy. Let's, um, let's grab these notes. We passed a pair of waiting boots on the way to the speed shoes, so let's take care of that now. And here we go. Alright, we're on down, down here. Um, yep. Okay, so that's... That's... I want... Come on, Banjo, work with me here. I'm gonna run out of time. Yes, I am, too. Jump on out. Good timing there, Banjo. Alright, since I'm an impatient bugger, let's just gold feather our way through these. Using the gold feathers works only on the quicksand and the swamp water in Bubble Gloop Swamp. The, if you try to do it with the ice water, that's over in... Oh, Humble Token. Uh, but um, if you try to do that with the... We won't be able to get up there in time, will we? We probably need the speed shoes for that. Yeah, what was my trip? Right. You can use the, um, on vulnerability provided by the golden feathers to get through the swamp water and the quicksand here at this level. You cannot do it with the icy water and freezing peak, however, because you actually swim in that. And once you swim, you're no longer able to use any of your land moves. Yeah, we're gonna need the speed shoes to get up here. In this race, you cannot beat until you find some faster feet. You know what, Grunty? We have some faster feet. Right there on that little sand dune here. I'm just grabbing some toys. Like a one-up that we're hopefully never going to have to use. Anyway, come on here, Kazooie. Grab the speed shoes. And... Get a bit of a head start there, since we're stuck in cutscene for like five seconds. Which is a jerk. Jump. Yeah, doing the. Oh, oh, Kazooie. Did you really, Kazooie? Anyway, we can disable those just like you can the waiting boots by pressing B when you're not moving. So let's just try this again. And. Uh, we're losing that extra second I gained last time, but let's see if I can not fall this time and hopefully make it in there. This pyramid is really annoying to get into. So let's just run up here and jump and not fall in the second time. And five, four, three, two, one. I made it! Good job, Kazooie. And this pyramid is flooded. Fun. But before we drain the water, we should grab that mumbo token. Because if you end up draining the water before you get that mumbo token, you can't get it, period. And once you grab this chiggy, the door there opens and the water drains out into the little moat thing in the center, which you'll see right there. That moat there actually has um, vines at the bottom, which hurt you, so it's kind of irritating to fall in there before you drain the water out of here. Anyway, let's grab these and the other mummy enemy, which I don't think you can really kill these without gold using golden feathers on them, actually, so you actually do need to use a golden feather to kill all of them, and hopefully I can get... Yes! Two for one! Good job, Kazooie. And Banjo. Anyway, that's pretty much everything for that temple. Um, what else is there to do? Uh, we can grab those around there later. There's that up there. And, ooh, magic carpet. Let's ride the magic carpet. And see where you go. Not like that, though. Uh, let's just... Wow, Banjo. Wow, Kazooie, you're just missing jumps left and right here. Literally. <laughs> See if we can do this better. Anyway, wait for the carpet, hop on, and let's ride it on over. Eh, I think we're approaching the end of this video, so I'm gonna call it here. See you guys later. Thank you for watching Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. I've been Silver Victorian. Next time, we find out who this camel is. Later.